Hey there, hi there. It's Sarah here at the Rapid City Public Library with a fun little story about a bumblebee. Today we will be reading Bee Wig by Cece Bell. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Candlewick Press for allowing us to share this story with you today. Bee Wig by Cece Bell. Hi there. Jerry Bee loved people. But people did not love Jerry B. For one thing, he was a bee. For another, he was the most enormous bee anyone has ever seen. A sting from a bee Jerry size would really hurt. So people stayed away. It's true that Jerry was quite large, but he had never stung anyone his entire life. In fact, he had tried hard to make friends, but nothing worked. One morning, Jerry saw an old wig lying on the sidewalk. Why not, thought Jerry, and he put the wig on his head. Just then, he heard a bus driver shout, Young man, you're late for school. The bus driver stopped her bus, opened the door, and hollered, Get in here. Jerry got on the bus. Wow, this wig makes me look just like a boy. As Jerry looked at himself in the mirror, he had wonderful thoughts. If he looked like a boy instead of a bee, maybe people would finally like him. When the bus stopped, Jerry made a bee line for the school. He couldn't wait to make friends with all the people inside. Jerry entered the first classroom he could find. Excuse me, ma'am, he said. My name is Jerry, and I would love to join your wonderful class. And might I add that you are looking quite lovely today? Miss Swan was the first friend Jerry made that day. The students really liked Jerry too. He was helpful, he was funny, artistic, and generous. He was even a terrific speller. By the end of the day, Jerry B. had more friends than he had his entire life. So Jerry decided to come to school every day, and every day he made more friends. And one day, he helped the janitor mop. The next day, he complimented the lunch ladies on their food. And Jerry inspired the cheerleaders with his remarkable team spirit. He even won over the bus driver. By the end of the week, everyone loved Jerry so, so much. That made him the Grand Marshal of the, an of the annual school parade. Jerry B. was ecstatic. He couldn't believe how much the wig had changed his life. Then the wind started to blow hard. The wind blew Jerry's rip. The wind blew Jerry's wig right off of his head. He tried to catch it, but, uh-oh. He was too late. Everyone saw Jerry without the wig and everyone saw that he was the most enormous bee they had ever seen. Wait, shouted a voice. Please wait. It was the wig. I am Wiglet, a very hairy guinea pig. I have had the honor of sitting on Jerry's head for a whole week. Yes, Jerry is a bee. Yes, Jerry is enormous. But I have never seen Jerry sting anyone. Jerry is helpful, funny, artistic, and generous. I am proud to call Jerry my best friend ever. Everyone was quiet and then... Hooray for Jerry B! Hooray for Wiglet! Hip, hip, hooray, everyone shouted. It was the best day of Jerry B's life. At last, he could be himself and have friends. And Wiglet would be his best friend forever. The end. Oh, how sweet. I'm so happy Jerry B had found a best friend in Wiglet. Oh, I'd be Jerry B's friend. Would you be his friend too? I thought so. Well, kiddos. That's all we have for today, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more story time shorts. We'll see ya!